Sarah Rafferty is in suits. We love suits. They've been in the country. We've had them in the studio. Uh, they're always fun. She's on chatting about the final season, and uh, the final season starts tonight, eight thirty on Foxtel's Universal Channel. Sarah, good morning. Welcome back on the Hi, air. Hi, Sarah. Hi, guys. Nice to hear your voice. I wish I was sitting in there with you. Oh, it was fun last time. Now, you and Lewis Lewis Litt, uh, we love him too. Oh, yeah. Rick Hoffman, he always calls in. Rick rings in quite a bit, unscheduled, as a fan, not even as a celebrity. It's always weird. He's great. He podcasts and listens to us. Oh, that's amazing. I think it's awesome too. He's trying to outdo me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Always. Yeah. yeah. He, he said after I'll be Suits. calling back in five minutes. I think he wants to work on this show after he's finished with Suits, he yeah. said. He oh, wants- God. That, that, I never thought about that. So after this season, you guys, as actors, you're back out on the grind doing your, well, you guys, after you come off a success like this, is it harder or easier to get other acting gigs? I've never, I've never mm. actually found that out. I don't know. I have never been on a TV show for t- almost a decade, so I'm about to find out how that goes. It's almost yeah. like redating after after a ten year relationship, going out on it the is, dating scene. It is. Everything would be different. Yeah. What a run, though. You, what I a hope success. I hope everybody swipes the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know which way you're supposed to swipe. Me neither. I've been married since 2001. <laughs> is it hard to let go of Donna? I mean, that's a character you've lived oh with God. for a long time now. And she's amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think it's going to be really hard to let go of her. I don't know. I, I don't know that I will entirely. I mean, I think um, like our boundaries have kind of blurred in a decade's time. Right. I've learned a lot from her, and I don't know. I think I, I do think like my atoms were rearranged a little bit by walking in the shoes of somebody who was so confident and so unapologetic for who she was, and mm. who wore a tour all the time. So uh, <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> Something Amazing like that, that huh. can be hard. And ha- are fans losing their minds now that you and Harvey are finally together? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. It seems, um, from what I can tell from Twitter and Instagram, it seems like people are pretty excited about it. I think uh, I think it was a really long runway, an yeah. eight-year runway. Yeah. So um, yeah. hopefully hopefully they're, they're enjoying it. And really, that's what we're here to do, to, to please them. They've, they're the reason why we got to do what we love for so long. When so did you find out yourself, was it at a table read or do you get scripts and events? When did you find out that you and Harvey were going to be bumping uglies and doing the whole sexy thing? Oh, my gosh. You know, that was a bit of a surprise at the end of season eight. In fact, um, there was that scene wasn't written when we were doing the table read. And that's happened one or two times that there's been this blank. And Gabriel and I were a little bit like, oh, what have you guys not decided here? Yeah. And then we had a conversation with Aaron Korsh, and he had decided with two of his other writers that he would change it. At the last minute, oh. he decided, you know what, it makes sense. We're going to do it now. We kind of thought that maybe they would do it at the end of the entire yeah, series. Right. That's what I thought. Yeah, like an office yeah. party, like a Friday night drinks gone. Like you know, the gone last feral. episode, you finally realize that you're in love yes. and you admit it to each other. But, but I like. I'm. I'm it's I, good I, that they've done it now because we get to actually see you guys together. Exactly. Yeah, and try to work through it and, you know, try to figure out how to communicate with each other and how does it work at the office and how does it work with their friends and colleagues and all those things I think are interesting. And so I'm glad they're doing it now, too. And it's just 10 episodes of them together. It's not like, oh, my God, what if we have to do this for four, five years? Yeah. yeah. It's going to be boring. Yeah. Is it weird? Because you two are like, friends and uh, you've never been, like, sort of, you know, uh, having to do the romantic stuff. Yeah. Is that weird or are you guys sort of, you know, down for that? Yeah. I mean, we were always, we we always laughed, you know, anytime we had to play any kind of like incredibly serious dynamic, even back in seasons one and two, we were laughing about it. I mean, it was funny to us to have, to be so serious, to have this boss secretary dynamic, you know, it's always a good laugh. And then, you know, um, at the end of the day, we're actors and I think the fact that we know each other really well and trust each other and have a, you know, shorthand with each other, I think that really helps uh, you know, get through it all and deepen it. I, I mean, I, the writers definitely wrote to Donna and Harvey once they saw Gabriel and I hanging out. They yeah. they leaned into yeah. that. So. You know what? We that had Nicole, cool. we had Nicole Kidman on the other day, and um, she'd been in that Big Little Lies uh, series that she's been doing, oh my getting knocked God, around amazing. and kicked around by Alexander Skarsgård. And we had Skarsgård on, and I said to him, oh, God, that must have been difficult. And then we had Keith Urban, Nicole's husband, on, backing it up. And I said, was it difficult to watch as the husband, your wife, 
in such a full on yeah. role. Mm. Does your husband, what was he giving you the, the greasies? Was he giving you the side eye? Like, mm, that looks a little bit too, too <laughs> well real. acted. Too real. <laughs> no, no. My husband's really pr- proud of us, you know? Like, I think I, I, I go back to the fans. The fans uh, seem to love it. And if we're bringing them joy, then, like, mission accomplished. It's exactly. amazing. Exactly. You know, we've like, had a, it's such a privilege to be able to do that. We've it had is. a lot of people uh, tweeting us questions for you. Beatrice wants to know, do you plan on stealing anything from the set of suits oh, before you go? good idea. you always got to steal uh, something uh, epic. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely leaving all those clothes behind. I mean, who would want those? <laughs> yeah. I think there might be a couple um, of those need to be counted. I wonder if you – do you get to keep <laughs> any of your clothes because they are awesome? There are, there are definitely, I'm going to be asking for some of those clothes, for sure. And then there's a little plaque on Donna's desk yeah. that's uh, a Shakespearean quote that says, first of all, we kill all the lawyers. So I'll be taking that, that with me. <laughs> I love that's that. Because yeah. when I was uh, judging on Australian Idol, I looted the place. I had big screen TVs being loaded into the car when the, when the season wrapped. I, had, I took every bit <gasps> of clothing I ever wore on TV. I stole all of that. Uh, and I and I told everyone I was stealing it, and no one did anything. So I think you'll so get away. So did anything? Okay, good. So now I know what to do. Yeah, yeah. just loot the joint. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to back a moving truck in. Hundred yeah, percent. No one's going to say anything. Guaranteed. That's weird. Sarah's driving away with an 18 wheeler. I didn't even know she had a license. <laughs> and this is a random question from Jess. She wants to know: Do you prefer Donna's hair straighter, like it is now, or when it was curled in the earlier seasons? Oh God, that she must be a hairdresser. I, yeah. <laughs> that um, I actually asked for it to be straighter, so that yeah. was my preference. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'd I'd I think like I love what, it straight. What that, that strawberry Thank blonde you. or that, what do you call it, light red? Well, I don't know what you call it, but straight. Strawberry blonde, yes. Strawberry blonde, beautiful, long, straight strawberry blonde. Yeah. It doesn't get much better than that. That's lovely. Oh, well, Thank you, thank you. My grandfather used to sing me a song about being a strawberry blonde. I should really? find that song and learn it. Oh. Yeah, it was really sweet. sweet. Oh. Yeah, an old timey, old timey song about being a strawberry blonde, and can't sing it for you though. What, what a sweet memory though. My grandfather, he only had one arm, and he was always very angry at everybody. Different memories, but still <laughs> nice memories. <laughs> Carl's family memories are never good, Sarah. Yeah, oh, horrific family memories. <laughs> Sarah. And there was that time Granddad passed out under the Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the final season of Suits it is tonight, 8 30, Foxtel's Universal Channel. We'll be watching Sarah. Lovely to Thanks, see you. Sarah. Say what's up to Lewis for us. We love him. Well, I will do. I'll see him tomorrow. Thank you so Thanks, much. Honey. Nice right. to see talk to you. Good luck you for too. everything. Okay. There she is.